right way. <coughs> okay, record, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, I believe we're live. Welcome to the IC247 offices in Zug in Switzerland. Um, we're going to take you few through a few of our experiences with internet marketing and broadcasting your concert with minimal budget uh, to uh, the maximum people as possible. And we're gonna take you through a few sort of steps that we use with our clients um, and that we used before and that you've probably heard of. So this demo broadcast will probably be good for you if you're at the stage at the moment where you maybe have a website or you're thinking about having a new website, you know about social media and you've probably heard streaming, um, live internet TV. And what we're gonna do is just show you how we do things. And uh, if, you're, you know, if you're a bit more advanced than what we're doing at the moment, then please feel free to contact us via the check-in and chat. If I just click on via the laptop, you can see we're connected via that. One second. Uh, if I go to the Ustream, where is the Ustream? It's here. Uh, bear with me one second. We go to the channel, IC247. And then you can see, check in and chat, where I was with the cursor. And you can use your Facebook, uh, your Twitter, use stream chat, and uh, you can ask your questions and give us tips. Anyway, let's start, and I'll give you a bit of background about IC247, uh, who we are and what we're doing and what we do, you know, and why we do it. So we started off with Fair Trade. Uh, a few years ago, 2004, just making sure that you know there was a market for fairly traded products. And uh, back then, it wasn't so you know my, you know internet wasn't so social as it is now, and the sort of share aspect, uh, which is really important for marketing nowadays, where you're willing to share your content and obviously get other people to share it. It wasn't so. It was just starting in the sort of Web 2.0 era, and we started doing sort of Wikipedia articles about the campaigns and about the, the projects, for example, Fair Trade Fortnite in the UK, and just making people aware of it, really, online. And then, obviously, uh, our clients were then working this sort of internet marketing more and more real-time into their other marketing practices and optimising and also saving budgets, yeah? Anyway, so here we go. What we're doing today is we're streaming live from uh, Ustream. Ustream are great. They're probably actually in our opinion, at this moment in time, the best and easiest uh, live streaming platform to use. So, you know, you can broadcast pretty much if you've got a webcam on your laptop, um, you can broadcast. I'll just take you to the site there just so you can see how cool it is. And Ustream, I mean, you can go on Ustream and get like sort of 40 million visitors per month. You can connect everything up. Um, and that's what we're using. Our Technical stuff, I mean, like I said, you can use a webcam if you wanted to stream your stuff, but what we use, we've advanced a bit since then, um, and Seb's operating it now, which is the TriCaster. If I just show you really quickly, we're gonna go through this in detail a little bit later on. If I just, Seb will show you the TriCaster now, one sec. Bear with me. Can you see that there? Right, we're using that baby there, which is effectively uh, eight cameras in, audio in, SDI HD, uh, recording, you can do virtual sets, blah, blah, blah. But we'll talk about that later on. So we're streaming live. Um, and what we're going to do now is say we're going to do like an example um, project together so you guys can get an idea of uh, how we do it and uh, <coughs> what we get up to. And that all starts from right at the beginning. You know, Like I said, you've got now, you're at the stage for this live stream demo to help you. You're at the stage where you have a message and you want to promote that message and you need to use the things that are available to you. Okay, the first thing that we do is we go to uh, Google because without Google, a lot of things would be uh, more difficult online. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're, we've connected the laptop to the TriCaster, so you're seeing this live, actually. Um, and then what we do is we... Uh, Start an account, actually, with Google, because it's really important, because there's certain things. You don't even need a website, actually. With a Google account, uh, you don't even need the cost of having a website. You can use Blogger and stuff, but we're going to go through it. So say you haven't got a website, um, or you haven't got the budget at the moment to get a website, then, but you've still got you know, 
a camera available or something like that, or you've got a good message, you've got products to sell, or you're a school and you want to promote your message. Yeah? So bloggers, really cool. You can set, set up a blogger um, account. Anybody can do that, free of charge. And what this enables you to do, it, this gives you a, uh, an online platform, basically, to show your messages. I'll show you the IC247 blog. I mean, I'll give you an example. This is a German one, actually. Uh, again, you can use German. And this is the, uh, the CMS, the content management system for it. So you can easily set up a blog. You can add links, uh, HTML, stuff like that, if I look there. You, we're going to need this later on, right? This is going to be important. Also, if you've got a website, later on we're going to go through WordPress and stuff like that, the websites that we use. But this is really important because if you want to stream, when we go back to that Ustream page, right, um, you can see there, can you see this button share, guys? And then you can embed this player. So you've got this account opened up. You've got your Google account opened up. You don't have a website. You can open up a blog, right? Anybody can do that. Or you can uh, you know, open up a WordPress blog as well, which is also free. And then you can compose uh, and advertise your stuff on there, which is really good. OK, so that's the first thing that you can do with Google. If you've got a website, then we recommend the following tools, which are pretty cool, actually. The first one is analytics. Now, what happens is you've got a really nice website that you've probably paid a few quid for, or you've got a nice blog which you've set up free of charge. Um, bloggers also connected automatically to this analytics, but so you don't. It's that they've got a more simplified version. But you know, this is a really important tool for learning about your visitors' behaviour on your website because you know you have a website, you need to know what's going on, what people like, what they look at, and what happens with analytics, you connect it up, and then uh, you can find out, for example like where your visitors come from. I've chosen a, uh, a day on one of our websites here. And you can see, if I scroll down slowly, you can see where the visits came from. Uh, let's have a look for Switzerland here, right? Because we're streaming from Switzerland, yeah? And then you can see, actually, where the people in Switzerland came from, right? And this is really important. So you know if you're undertaking advertising or you're starting out, or you, you're looking at probably promoting a message more locally, maybe, you know? This is the sort of stuff that you need. This is like real-time feedback for your site. And then what happens is you can tell how many people have visited, what pages they visited, the average time they spent on the website. If it's above three and a half minutes, you're doing all right. The percentage of new visitors and the bounce rate. And then what you can also look at are your traffic sources, right? Now, where is your traffic coming from? On this day, you can see here, uh, you can have the keywords that are used, you can have the re Re the referral, so you know, Facebook uh, sent you visits, the location, behavior, what they looked at, new versus returning, uh, the social aspect of it, if there were mobile engagements, pretty cool stuff. Okay, that's a good tool. Also, with Google, if you've got a message that you want to put out there, then what you can do is you can actually pay Google to promote your message. Um, at the beginning, when we first started this out, we were a bit anti-paying a search engine because what you know, any search engine they need quality content to provide for pe to show for people that are searching on their um, search engines. Yeah, so if somebody's looking for classical music, for example, which we're involved in quite a bit, which you'll see shortly as we show you videos and whatever, um, you know, uh, you're providing quality content anyway. So if you set it out right and go through what Google does, then maybe you don't need to pay, but Google have got a fantastic AdWords program, actually, which is pay-per-click. And what it, that does is it enables you to pay Google for certain keywords. And then you do like an advert here, which you can see if we fade over where I'm going with this mouse. Can we see that there? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've got it. Um, you write your ad, and then that advert shows up. So if somebody searches, say you're a music school, and then you've got, you know, learn to play instruments and your one of your keywords is instrument learning then your ad shows up and google sends you traffic to your website hey that this is overnight stuff i mean you can set a blog up pretty much in an hour via your google account and then connect it to an adwords account and i mean like i said they've got a good program going on at the moment and um, you can get actually vouchers so i mean ranging from sort of 50 dollars to 100 pounds or whatever and they, they what we found recently, actually, with live clients for hotels, is that these vouchers really do help because pretty much the next morning after you've put your advert live, you can see via your analytics account, go back to analytics, yeah? Uh, you can see how many clicks that voucher just bought you. And then you can have a look and say, right, 
normally in my marketing budget, if I'm going to get a new client, whether it's visiting my website or whether it costs me, I don't know, you know, I don't know, $50, right? And you know that if you've set a budget for AdWords pay per click for $2 or £1.50 per click, then that saved you a lot of money. Obviously, you then have to have a website or a blog that's good, that's sticky, that's going to be attractive to people that's got good content on there. But like I said at the beginning, if you're watching this demonstration now and listening to this, then you're at the stage where you want to promote your content online and you think it's you know, valuable, educational, or you think it's going to do some good. Okay, so that's AdWords, right, where you pay Google and Google sends you traffic. It works, you know. Uh, contact us via the Twitter and the chat and via the website. Uh, Seb can fade in a title now with a website address, I believe. You wait one tick. Oh, it's there. So if you have a look at internetcommunication247.com, um, give us an email and we'll, and we'll get you hooked up with some Google AdWords. Okay, the other side of it is we're at the point now where we've got the website a bit of traffic. We've got it plugged into some cool Google tools. There's things like Picasa Web, uh, where if you've got lovely photos and lovely images, you can um, connect those via your Google account with the same login, and then you can do like nice side slideshows. And importantly, with Picasa Web, if I just show you Picasa Web, let's go to a link quickly. And this is free photo sharing. Ah, uh, very me. So let's go look for some photos. We can see some of our photos, actually from our live stream world, if I go through a few. And what we do with this, and what's pretty cool is, is we want to show up for our content, which is good content, remember? We want to show up on Google searches, not just for normal Google searches, but for example, if somebody's searching for an image and they type in something to do with live streaming or classical music or education, whatever, then uh, if your images show up with links to your website, then it's also a good way of getting traffic. So that's another uh, example of a Google tool. So we're plugged in, we've got good content, we've also paid probably Google a little bit of money. We can also earn money with our content that's good, that's educational, we can earn money from Google. And this is called AdSense, which is effectively the opposite of AdWords. Instead of you paying Google for content, Google you allow Google to place other people's adverts on your content. I can show you a quick uh, blogger from internet communication, just so you can see an example. Also on the Ustream page that you're watching now, uh, they, you can see examples of AdSense, uh, those adverts that show at the top and on the right hand side. Uh, if I show you one of our live blogs, and you can pretty much control this. Uh, hold on, bear with me, I've made a spelling mistake. This is also live, so it's a bit embarrassing. Sorry, Seb. <laughs> right. Okay, if you follow my cursor key, this one here, this is a Google advert. This one here, this is the Picasa web plugin, what we've just spoken about, right, with those photos. This is the blog that we set up free of charge that everybody can do, yeah? And can you see how we've connected it all? There's a YouTube video. We're going to talk about YouTube later and show you some really cool things from YouTube. There's some photos in there. And there's another AdSense. Now... What happens is, if your content's interesting enough, which I'm sure it is, it's going to be, because we're at that stage where we want to promote our cool content, maybe music or education or whatever, um, then, you know, if you can earn money from it, it helps with setting the whole thing up. I mean, that's a point of our demonstration today as well, is to show you how to set this stuff up economically, and maybe even if your content's good enough to actually make you a profit. And AdSense from Google is one of those really important tools. Okay, uh, what do I want to do? Google AdSense, there we are. Okay, next thing is I'm briefly gonna run through YouTube really quickly because that's also a, a really important Google tool that's also really uh, done some fantastic things in uh, recently in respect to Google, Aaron and all those people who are programming their hearts out, making our content really reachable and interactive. Now, so after you've done a stream or you've got videos and you've got your Google account and you've streamed with your webcam and it's or with your TriCaster, which we'll explain about later, uh, you're going to need to edit your videos and upload them to YouTube. And there's so many things now that you can do with YouTube. And if you're a YouTube partner, you can also earn money by allowing YouTube to place adverts on your videos. Absolutely fantastic if you're trying to get a project on its feet with minimal budget and get it, you know, get it running properly. Okay, so that's cool. Okay, the next thing to talk about, obviously, uh, which we'll run through very briefly, is social media, Facebook. Twitter and so on. 
Now, if you look again, if we go to the Ustream page, uh, let's go to the Ustream page really quickly. Right, hold on one second. Right, here we are. This check-in and chat stuff, right? This is really cool. If I just show you here, you can watch this. This is social media pure. You know, you can check in with, with your Twitter, with your Ustream, with your AIM, with your MySpace, with your Google. And what happens is, this social media stuff is all about share, right? And it's all about being part of the millions of people who are online sharing their stuff, being part of this evolution that's taking place rapidly. You can see what your friends are up to and you might think it's interesting and it's cool. Okay, so you've probably got a Facebook account, right? Like most other people, yeah? Um, and you've also got this great idea or this great product that you want to put out there online. And again, like I said, I do apologize. If you're finding this the really outdated and you've been doing this stuff a while, you know, bear with us. It's, like I said, we're aiming for people who are just at the beginning of this stuff and want to know more about it, right? So you need to set up a page. And that is um, basically not a personal profile. It's your professional profile, right? Online, on Facebook. On Facebook, I mean, I don't know if you saw the recent BBC stuff. I mean, they've really gone to town recently. You can also do... Uh, adverts on Facebook where you pay similar to AdWords. Uh, so anyway, we're at, we need to create a page. So a local business or place. Um, and then you go through the motions, fill the forms out like you do normally, add the photos, get some really good content on there, add videos if you can. This is our page, an example, IC247. Feel free to join up, IC247 Internet Marketing. We get regular stuff, loads of interesting um, links and you know from the SEO and internet marketing world and classical music and whatever. So anyway, what this in then enables you to do is, let's take an example. You're a school and you want to do a broadcast some of your lessons maybe, or you're a teacher, you're a music teacher. You set up your page, and then you've probably got a lot of students who are all on Facebook for sure, right? Um, and you, know, you want to get them to come to your event online. With this Ustream as well, you can also, uh, when you post a link on Facebook for your Ustream broadcast, uh, you can view it via the U uh, Facebook app, which is pretty cool. Um, and it helps you get some advertising also from the friends of your friends. So we set the page up. Let's set an event up. So bear with me. Go to events, right? And at the moment, we're on a, that's the event for today. But if I go back, let's create an event. So we want to create an event. We want to add an event photo there, the name when it is, what time it is, when it ends, the location, and then the details. And you can add links and stuff like that. To So for example, if you're going to broadcast your lesson with your webcam, maybe, or your HD cam that you've connected to your laptop, then you know you want to connect all this together. So you've got your blog or your website, right? Um, which is all connected to your Facebook now, which is connected to your Google accounts now, which is now connected to your Facebook. So you set the event up, and then you share that with your friends, OK? So let's go back. Uh, and there's a rule that's quite interesting, and it's quite logical as well when you think about it. If every Facebook profile has got an average of 130 friends, when they post something or like or share, their 130 friends see that, right? And then they, they might like that. And then, of course, they've got 130 friends. So it's like 130 times 130 times 130, which is outrageous, out of this world, really. So that's what we need to do. Get that hooked up, and then also, really important, get your Twitter hooked up. And then you can connect your Twitter to your Facebook, because again, you've got to think about timing. You know, you can't spend hours and hours online filling up content for this stuff. So you connect it all together real time, right? You connect your Facebook with your Twitter, so that when you post something using your Twitter, for example, on this Ustream check-in and chat, let's say something, hi to all. We got that connected to the Twitter, right? Hi to all there. So let's just give you an example. And then I do that say. And let's go to IC247 on Twitter, or even on the website, actually. And let's see. Because that's connected real time, right? There you see that there. Hi to all. And there's a vi the, the video is attached to it as well from Ustream. That's pretty cool, yeah? You see that real-time action, the connected. Now, if you've got your blogger open, 
or your website. Let's just go to the website. I'll show you uh, quickly on the website because it, we use WordPress, which is open source for our website. It's actually a blogging system, open source. Everybody can use it free of charge. You know, it's pretty cool. Can you see here these buttons? That's our Facebook. That's our Twitter. That's our YouTube connector. There's also Skype there, and that's our blog, right? And let's go to here so I can give you an example. We've connected our Ustream page and our Ustream chat to our website, also to our blogger, also to our Facebook. And that is the real time. That is the beauty of it, the optimization of doing this stuff with minimal budget and doing it effectively. And then what happens is, you know, you start up a role, you get so many fans, and then so many people watching it, and then they like it, and then click, and then your message is really out there, right? Okay, um, where are we at? Yes, let's go to uh, WordPress. I just want to do something really quickly. If uh, I just want to get James on chat, because this is another thing that's really cool about this TriCaster and this stuff. And also, if you're... Uh, if you're a teacher and you want to, you don't want to stream to like, you know, 50 million people uh, in one hit. I'm not saying you're going to, but you know, if your message is good, then that might well happen. But uh, what it is is, you might want just two or ten, or you might want a private. Uh, with this TriCast stuff and with the streaming, you can see now if we go, this is James from our office in the UK. He just waved, you might be able to see him. One second, he's waving there too. He's our WordPress expert. And what I'm gonna do now is we've gone through the Google stuff and everything like that. Um, actually, it's a shame because for some reason, technical uh, things, we haven't got audio from James. So he's gonna give us very intelligent y yeses and, and a little bit of hand signaling. All right, uh, James. So like I said, he's our WordPress expert. Now, let's go to WordPress here. I'm gonna take you to the CMS for WordPress. Basically, you know, you might have a website, you might be looking at a redesign, right? Um, actually, I'm going to show some other websites as well. So sort of. we're going to concentrate on classical music because that's what we do at the moment. Um, let's show the LA Phil website quickly because this is quite important. Is that connected? LA Phil. Right. A modern day website. I'm also going to get an example link up for the BBC just to show you. And also, Ustream is a pretty good uh, example of a modern website and what they should have on it, a website, right? So you're at a point now where you've got your Google account, you've got your blog set up, you've been blogging a while, you've got like followers, you know, you've got people really into it. Your students are sharing the message, they're viewing like the recorded webcam videos that you've got, that you've done on Ustream, right? Um, and now you've generated budget, maybe not a lot, but enough to get you a website built up. Remember WordPress or Tipo free and there's a few other ones on the market which are pretty good. Okay, here's the BBC website. Right, let's just go through this really quickly. Okay, we've got like an AdSense advert here, it's right at the top. You've got your main navigation, right? And then you've got a slideshow and that's showing hot content at the moment. And you know, you need to be trying, you know, let's have a look at the LA Phil from a classical music. They've got the same sort of thing, right? They've got the slideshow here, they've got their main navigation, their header, uh, and they've got their adverts. Look, look at this connect, follow us on Twitter. Yeah, you like that, don't you? That's what we need to be connecting up, right? And you've got Facebook there as well. Can you see the style? This is like the old, the Web 2.0 style gone, you know, really evolved and developed into just real-time quick information. You've got all the concert, concerts that come up. Okay, so we try and do this, if I show you, on our websites. I mean, I'm gonna show you one of our ones, Davos Festival. Really love this site, it's a nice one one of our clients, they stream and do everything, please feel free to have a look on Facebook and stuff like that. So we've got a background on that website, can you see that? And what we've got is, we've got the WordPress system, which is th effectively the blogging system, you've had experience in using the blogs, and uh, you know, like I said, you've got some, now you wanna go up a level, so we're using the WordPress system. We've got the slideshow, we've got the navigation, which we've got drop downs there, because they've got a lot of programs. We've got the languages, right, really important. WordPress is cool, you're gonna find out why. And then we've got these follow, look, all of these social, that's from the Google, Picasa, YouTube, Blogger, and you've got your tweets and your likes, as it were, and then you've got your gallery, your videos, and again, I'm gonna show you the gallery quickly, because this is pretty cool. 
some fish we'll see some there we go let's go on let's have a look at the videos they've got this is from their stream this year which we did with these guys can you see that it's loading up okay there's a gallery of videos you can do all sorts of stuff and can you this is really important to remember you haven't got that much bud budget right so you need to look at systems where they're either going to be free or they're going to be sort of you know relatively uh minimal outlay money wise wordpress systems free to download you know you're probably going to have to get a do domain name and rent that and some server space okay so if i go now to uh our cms i'm going to show you quickly a little bit about our wordpress so this is the CMS, the content management system for our WordPress. Really easy, very similar to Blogger. Um, let's have a quick look. You can see here, you can do posts. We've got 29 posts, it's so easy to edit. Also really important, if you don't have much time and you're on the hop, if I, where's the cameras, Steph? You can download the WordPress app for your iPhone and you can edit your website content via your iPhone, you know? Mucho importante. So let's have a look, live streams. You can go there and let's look at the edit. Again, you've got English, German, you can have more languages. And it's such an easy, you can have visual there, which you can see. Can you see that? And then you can have the HTML. And now in a minute, we're gonna show you with those videos you've got, they're gonna give you embed codes. Can you see this stuff? Like your Ustream stream, the stream that you're watching now, if you're watching it from the Internet Communication 247 website, this is the code that we use, which Ustream, like I said, it's a great system, you know. It's really, really user-friendly. They allow you to embed this stuff, and it's great. Um, works really well. So there's that. That's a page. Now, what you can also do, I mean, you can look at the side here. This is to make it live. This is to do your titles in German. Really important, you want to get this found in search engines. So let's go down here, which is so important. All in one SEO pack. Now. That is effectively uh, meta tags, meta descriptions for um, Google and other search engines. We'll use Google as a main search engine because 80% of the people use Google right? uh, world on live, online. Now, you need a meta title. Now, this is so important. I can't stress the importance of this and a meta description. And that has to change for every page on your website. Now, with WordPress, these are all plugins. That means you don't have to spend hours and hours of programming time. We can get these plugins. They're, they're online. Um, and it's just a case of you having the time or looking at for some help. Maybe contact us again, the website address is available. If you've got your Twitter and everything on the live chat, you can contact us and we'll give you some help with that as well. But you can add new posts. You can tweet there. If I show you, are you on the cursor there, Steph? Yeah. So you can tweet as well. If you see, ah, oh, you're not seeing that, huh? That's interesting. How do we get that? So tweeting. Uh, bear with me one sec, because that's not showing on the screen. Here's the dashboard. Let's go to the dashboard. Okay, uh, widgets. So, you've got a WordPress plugin. You've got all of these. Look, there's 17,304 different plugins there, and 241 million downloads. So you can see it's an effective system. And this Matt Cutts, the Google anti-spam chief engineer, SEO god, uses WordPress himself, then you know, we really recommend that you guys use it as well, yeah? Okay, so that's just going through the WordPress. What we want to do now, it's nearly half past, so we're going to have a little bit of a break, which uh, is going to be about seven minutes. We're going to show you like a video of um, some of our past live streams, not recent ones actually, it's a little bit old, but later on in the program you can see some more. It's just now excerpt, and we'll see you back in about seven minutes, yeah? And then we're going to go through some of the equipment. And what else are we doing, Seb? You're going to talk us through the cameras, right? Exactly. I'm going to show the cameras we're using right now. So you can see the way we're working, and we're going to explain, explain why we're using them and how to use them, actually. It's going to be pretty simple to use them. Yeah, you might be sold. All right, we look forward to seeing you shortly. Um, and uh, have fun watching the videos. Don't go away, yeah? Back in seven.
dare e sposo un cavaliere la si vuol dare e sposo un cavaliere si lo voglio sì che tutto il dì mi fa andare a passo che tutto il dì mi fa andare a spasso si lo voglio sì All right, welcome back. Had a quick break there. Hope you enjoyed seeing a few of those uh, excerpts about some of the strings we did. Actually, those were last year, actually, and uh, things have developed quite intensely and very speedily, actually, over a short period of time. Um, because live streaming in general is uh, an arena or an industry which is quite young and um, new. And it's still also relatively exploratory, even though um, a lot of the big sort of uh, media companies are sort of streaming their content live online, so it's viewable to all. Uh, it's going to get better and it's going to get a lot cheaper. Anyway, this half, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go through it shortly in a minute. I'm going to take you through the Ustream CMS and how to Ustream, because like I we said at the beginning, we're really, really 
chuffed to pieces actually with Ustream. It's so easy to use and there's so many different uh, options available. You can even do pay-per-view and stuff like that. But we'll talk through that. And then Sebastian, and maybe uh, if he arrives on time, our one of our partners, the Michel uh, from Visuals, he's gonna be uh, popping in as well and we'll say hello to him. Because uh, without those guys, without support, um, then things would be quite difficult if you're sort of on a minimal budget uh, and you haven't got much money to promote your cause, as it were. All right, okay, so if we go to the computer now, um, we can see that we're actually on Ustream, okay? So that's the actual Ustream page of which that we're streaming out. So we need to set this up. So if I go to the dashboard, you need to, so if you open up your account on Ustream and then uh, this is what happens, you get you come to your dashboard and then uh, what you need to do is set up a channel, which there's one of our examples, Classical Music Education Online, which is some of our musician friends and partners who show their students how to play and talk about their experiences, similar to this program now, but with music. Um, and then you can set up a channel, give it tags, really important, remember those meta information, give it a nice short descriptive uh, description. And then here you've got premium services. Let's have a look at the premium services, what's available. You see there's free version, obviously, and then there's the versions where you can pay. If you have a look here, you've got a starter at $99 a month, which is 100 ad-free viewer hours and 50 cents per additional view uh, hours. Got that there. Pro broadcasting, ad-free broadcasting, premium memberships, HD broadcasting, which is pretty cool. Uh, by the way, we stream out, you're watching a 500 kbps stream now, so that means at home you need to have uh, at least 500 kbps. Uh, and if you're gonna stream out, internet connection is so important. Without internet connection, you can't do anything. You can't even work online. So try and get the best connection that you can possibly get. Okay, let's go back to this dashboard. And um, we can look at the channel. So what we're doing at the moment uh, is we're streaming from an advanced uh, channel, an RTMP, but we're going to go into details about that in future broadcasts, about how you do this properly. But this is what we're using at the moment. Um, you don't have to do that. You can just you know, stream via your webcam if that's what you want to do. That's great. Um, you can look at it. If you have got things like CDs, or on I or iTunes downloads available, then you can use this smart little tool from Ustream, which we really love, right? So let's create a quick new extension here. And let's use iTunes, and let's search for one of our clients. So, so we iTunes, we're gonna look at iTunes. Let's continue with that. And then you can search for an artist. Let's, who should we search for? David Brochet, one of our famous streaming colleagues and partners, he's a fantastic trombone player and a teacher. Let's have a look. Uh, is it, or, mm, Bruce maybe not on, uh, David Zinman, let's have a look. And quickly, album, David Zinman. And there you go, you can add this stuff. This is from New York City Ballet Orchestra, David Zinman and London Sinfonietta. You can add those to your broadcast. And what that does, it takes your viewers from Ustream, now, like now, you guys watching now, it takes them direct to iTunes and of course, if that's your iTunes link, you earn money from it, royalties. So again, you're generating budget for your, your online activities, aren't you? Just seeing that Michel's here from Visuals. Really worth having a look at, visuals.ch. Um, great equipment, all of this equipment, he's gonna help Sebastian shortly afterwards. Um, yeah, so back to Ustream. Okay, so you set all this up and then uh, you want to stream live and what happens is if you click this button at the top here so it says go live see that there go live what happens is you click that and then this page comes up which is basically your console so you can start broadcast um, you've also got a lot of advanced settings here and uh, tools like that. let's go full page on that actually so it's easier to see and then you can see here you can adjust frame rate, toggle the picture smoothing, high res. Ah, uh, you see a little bit. Oh, I'm just seeing on the screen, you can't see all that, but you can get pretty much most of it, right? So yeah, that is basically the Ustream setup. Okay, now, Seb, are you sort of nearly ready to talk about the equipment? Yes, I am. Okay, I'll be quiet then and uh, let you get on with it. 
Okay, hello to everyone. Uh, nice to say before, my name is Sebastian. I'm in, in charge of video and editing, everything that you see here. Um, I'm gonna talk about the cameras that we're using and why we are using them. Uh, it's actually quite a easy setup that we're using. As you can see, let me change cameras. Should I put this down here? Is Misha? Yeah, Misha. Misha, exactly. Right. So <laughs> um, as you can see, this is the whole setup we're using. We have right here, we have this small TriCaster that you can see right next to me. Then we, have after. then we have just a second. Shall I hold the mic, please? Okay, thanks. Then we have, as you can see here, this is the TriCaster screen where I can edit everything live. For example, if I want to change from this camera that we have here to another camera to show the cameras that we're using, like for example this one, it's very easy. I can just make some presets, for example. Let's say right now I want to go back to where I was before with Save. So I will choose his camera and then change to him with pressing only one button. So it's actually very easy to use. And then we're gonna go back though to the camera where before. Yeah, that's it. So I can show you. How the whole setup is gonna look like. It's actually You've been showing that live, that's it. Pretty yeah. simple. Do it live. Zoom in so as you can live. see, we're having right now only like one screen for the TriCast, so you can see all the images we have. Right now we're working with three dis uh, with three cameras. One of them is right next to Stace. So you're gonna see it there. The other one. Hold on. Can you, you can see it right now. See where I'm pointing. One there. The other one is right behind us, so that we can cover every angle we need to cover for the whole setup. Why are we using these cameras? It's actually very easy. We have full HD cameras. That's very important for most of the customers, of course, and as well. As you can see, they're very simple and very small to use. So this means normally, for example, in a live concert setup, um, normally you don't want to have like three or four camera guys running around the stage with huge cameras because the, perp the people watching the stage are going to be, I mean, are going to be taking more care of the camera guys than the concert itself. So we came up with the idea of using the small remote cameras that we can even hang on the ceiling so that we can move it with this small setup small panel that I'm going to show you just in one second. This one right here. With this small panel, I can control all the cameras that we have. Uh, we can go from one camera up to 10 cameras or even more if needed. And then as you can see, I'm just moving the camera right away with the small joystick. So it's actually pretty easy to use. Uh, they don't need a lot of space. And then we have only like two cables connected to a camera and we can hide them so no one can see them on the stage. Maybe we'll get uh, Michelle to give us some technical information about the cameras. Um, from Michelle's from Visuals. We just get him on screen for you now. Let me go to Michelle. Uh, should that reach? Okay. Uh, Michelle is from Visuals. Welcome to the stream, Michelle. Yes, hi. I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Michelle supplies basically us guys. Um, with these cameras and with a lot of other equipment. Um, like I said, you can visit the website, visuals.ch, um, which is well worth a look. And also, you know, these guys, well, from our point of view, when we're going out to deal with a client to, you know, get their, their show on the road online, then without people like Michelle, we'd be lost. So yeah, um, I don't know if you want to talk about maybe how you find streaming and together with the equipment. And yeah, basically I'm here from the Panasonic camera, the Luminous camera. Like we can say, we can um, sell everything as uh, hardware or software, but uh, the philosophy of visual is not only to make sales, it's more to help, uh, to help uh, EC247, uh, it helps customer uh, to find solution. That's the philosophy of, uh, of visual. And uh, in EC philosophy, I'm here to help uh, sales and production to make a uh, dream. Okay. Um, you, if you like. <laughs> yeah, that's it. The, uh, about Flash Media. Oh, we're getting a lot of chat, Michel, on the, at the moment. A lot of questions. Um, the best setup for transmitting HD from a TriCaster. I'll tell you what, Moises TV Mundo. If you give us a second, we're going to talk about TriCaster shortly. Um, at the moment, we just want to concentrate a bit on the cameras, because Michel's a bit of an expert with this. Um, and then we'll go after the TriCaster after that, yeah? Okay, Michel. The camera? Yeah, the camera. 
Okay, we have some uh, Panasonic camera. It's okay, some camera, camera so that please. used for streaming, but uh, we can use it also for our TV or for special studio application. The interior of this camera, we you don't need some uh, only one cameraman with three, four, five, six, or seven camera, and you can make some uh, very uh, robotic uh, studio. Presets, very and, and with uh, the help from all the preset or for each for each kind of event, and it's very very helpful. Okay, and a HD and SD setup, right? Yes, HD, uh, SD, uh, broadcast, uh, SDI output, and so on and so on, but broadcast quality. And I if you were talking about an average customer, what sort of, if with minimal budget, I mean, because these could be quite expensive, these cameras, if you're going to buy, what would you recommend? It doesn't have to be a remote control camera, does it? No, what's no, another good camera to use for streaming? You can use uh, each kind of camera for streaming. It's different, uh, internet don't need automatically HD. We can have some other camera with uh, uh, a cheaper camera. In this case, with Panasonic, we have no other camera where it's cheaper. We can have other camera from Marshall. It's depend always of the, the need from the customer and the budget, clear. Mm -hmm. What about the Sony? Because we use sometimes the Sony. We can use one, also Sony. Sony. Sony have uh, also some robotic camera. At the moment, we can say uh, Panasonic is a good uh, is a good solution, but with Sony, I'm just coming from a Sony meeting, uh, and Sony has also good, very good uh, robotic camera, and we can use it uh, also for make streaming. And what's the sort of budget on those Sonys? Are they more expensive than the Panasonic? Sony, it's depend <laughs> it's depend which one of Panasonic. I could say it's the same range, perhaps a uh, uh, more uh, more or less as Panasonic with the same quality. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And they're available pretty much worldwide now, all of that, everywhere. So Europe, America. Europe, States. America, always. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what we found coming from our point of, point of view, uh, going out, uh, often, especially with new clients, they really don't have the budget. So if you've got, for example, I'll give you a good example, a classical music concert, um, where you're going to need at least five cameras. And then, for example, say, you know, especially what with the current economic climate, they haven't got, not got a lot of money around, the clients in general. Um, so you need to keep it minimal budget. And obviously, if you've got a cameraman behind every single individual camera, that's going to cost you a few quid, right? Um, so this is where the remote control cameras, they might be a little bit more expensive to rent or to buy. But in the long run, they do iron themselves out with regards to the price. Um, OK, uh, should we talk a little bit about the TriCaster? And maybe go the through TriCaster, I could say so, uh, some word about the TriCaster. Tricaster is not only um, a mixer, a video mixer, as you know, as we know in the broadcast uh, production, but it's also a very good tool to make a studio, and of course you can see to make a streaming. We have uh, you can make uh, a four or eight cap cameras. It's depend which one you want. With and Tricaster, right? With Tricaster, yes, you can. Uh, the one you're looking at now on the screen is a. XHD 850, which yes. is eight. There's also, which one is there? There's the 300, XD 300 with three camera out, yeah? It's a 400, uh, 450, the 450 50 and uh, 850. Yeah, and we're using the 850. And actually, just yesterday, there was a new update on it. And to be honest, um, if you're listening, New Tech, we've got a couple of pointers for you because there's a few things that we've noticed since the update that are interesting. But yeah, this is the equivalent, right, Michelle and Seb? of two truckfuls of production equipment. You know, mixers, you can have up to eight cameras. And if you have a mixer in between each eight camera, theoretically, we've never tried, the most we've done is eight cameras in one hit. But theoretically, you can have uh, up to 24 cameras, right? Eight times three. Am I right, guys? Yeah. So if you've got Paul McCartney as a client, use TriCaster. <laughs> um, yeah, w more technical stuff about the TriCaster. Michelle, what can you tell us about it? Why is it good? Why is it good to use for streaming? It's good because it's, uh, it's uh, all uh, one in box. It's, I can say it's very important to not have X uh, boxes while uh, with, um, you have more cable and more pr the problematic for the cable uh, is more um, important. Shall, uh, uh, and do you want to come over and point out and to explain some of the functions on it maybe? Just come this side. Okay. Use your finger and point out the functions, Michelle. Yes. Wonderful, it's work. <laughs> you have 
uh, eight input SDI, HD, SD, SDI. And we ha you have also a component input. It's analog signal and also audio. It's a good uh, mix between audio and uh, video. And at the same time, you have different output. You have one multi-viewer output to control all the, the camera pictures. And you have one uh, uh, HDMI output for different uh, display, clear the USB. You can control the, um, the mixer with, um, with the mouse and the keyboard. But you can also have a separate keyboard, especially for this, uh, this trick caster. It's more easy, it's different. Oh, the keyboard like for it, it yeah. yeah, yeah the keyboard, it's very useful. It's I'll try and find a picture of that on the um, online, if you can see you, Michel. If you carry on talking, I'll find a picture for that. Yes. After we can, we have also an, um, a firewire input. You have also a firewire input to use with each uh, other camera, with uh, the DV camera and the gen lock possibility. You have uh, also output. You can make on the um, on the mixer, mixer. You can make uh, the control monitor to control e each input to be sure the of the the build quali the um, picture quality is uh, good. Okay, I've got a picture of that keyboard now. Yes. If you want to just go to that, just fade that in quickly so you guys can have a look at that. That's a lot easier. At the moment, we're just using a mouse basically uh, because obviously this isn't a sort of stressy situation where uh, you we're going to be sort of needing to use a handle instead of the mouse. Okay, sorry. After you, Michel. Thanks. Uh, you okay, you finished talking about the TriCaster, yeah? Yes. All right. Um, let's have a look at some of the tweets we've got coming on. Uh, Moise TV Mundo is asking what um, type of Panasonic kit it is. It's actually the AWHE 100s, but there is the smaller dome version as well, actually. If you probably saw on the slideshow previous to this broadcast before we went live, there's a picture um, and that's got the dome cameras. I think they're the AWHE 50s, am I right? Um, they're also pretty good. Um, you know, they're HD, SD, so if you're gonna stream out in half HD and record in HD, they're absolutely fine. And they're also, I'll tell you, if you've got problems sort of moving stuff around or you transport issues, then, you know, you get three of those little babies, it's in a suitcase, so you can take that wherever you go. And even the TriCaster, there's some really cool rollers cases for it and stuff that you can move it around so easily. And that TriCaster XD300, the smallest version, when that's in a case and wrapped up, that's absolutely fab. Uh, Bridal Flowers, you've got hearing issues. Can anybody else, does everybody hear the, the stream? Let me just have a look on our I, I Mac. Can you hear that? It's a little bit delayed online, you can have a look. Oh, okay. BJ said it's good. All right, then that's cool. So, let's have a look at, um, what can we talk about now then? Yeah, so, you've got all this equipment, right, available to you. You can sort of uh, look at purchasing it, hiring it, and what have you. And say, for example, you're a school now, or you, you've got that message. Now you've got your web stuff, your web presence is set up, and you are actually ready to rock and roll properly. You've been in touch with IC247 and visuals, and uh, they can sort you out what you need. Or, you know, there's probably some good supplies near to where you guys are if you're in Australia, or where is it? Where were you? Akron, Ohio, BJ. Cool, man. So, um, the thing is now, um, you're moving up a gear because you've probably got like a good, maybe a few thousand monthly visitors. So that means that your content is actually, yeah, we're just going to show you quickly on Michelle's iPhone because the stream that you're watching, you can watch it on iPhone obviously as well, yeah? Which answers actually one of the questions we've got. Yeah, I'll just show you that quickly. Yeah, See that? We're live on iPhone. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I mean, that means you're pretty much reachable anyway. Program of editing is a VID blast. Nice. Stavros Milkos, the program of editing is the TriCaster, dude. That's everything built in, man. Really, like, simple, ease of use. Show another picture of the TriCaster, uh, please, Seb. Yeah, I'm going to show it to you again in one second. Let me change camera angle. As you can see, I have the different presets in here. This is the TriCaster, uh, the monitor connected to the TriCaster. So you can see all the different cameras we're using. 
and as well we have some banners and, and more information. Yeah, I'm just about to say about that. We Talking about those presets, I'll tell you what, it's worth mentioning the guys, because they're obviously interested in the cameras. Tell them about these presets and in a classical music scenario, Seb, where okay. you pure stress with the soloists, mm -hmm. man. Perfect, that's one of the best examples that he mentioned right now. Go Normally, for example, when we're in like a live concert, like the one you see before, when we're into break, um, what we normally do is, oh, just a second. Okay. We, we do, I mean, we, we prepare each preset before we start shooting, of course. So it's very easy to do it, actually. For, for example, right now you can see we're using camera two. Hold on one sec. Let me just give the guys who are watching online a scenario, yeah? Mm -hmm. Picture this. You've got a stage, right, with 120 musicians, okay? Now, those musicians, that orchestra, that concert, goes for a process, of, say an hours long broadcast, yeah? You've got your camera set up, five to eight cameras, um, and what happens is, at some point, there's going to be a lot of a different interaction taking place between, for example, the cello and the first violin, and then the whole strings are going to be playing, and then the brass comes in. So you need to be sort of like properly aware uh, beforehand of what's going to happen during a broadcast, right? So when you need to, what cameras to be on, where and who. So the scenario that Seb's going to talk to you about now is, say we're, we're there just before you know, the dress rehearsal, You've got the camera set up <laughs> around the stage area or around the product set area, and then the musicians have sat down. Okay, Seb. Exactly. So the music set down. So actually, what I do, I'm going to show it to you with the on the remote con hold camera that. controller. Yes, please. It's actually very simple. Like you can see, I'm going to change to the camera I'm using right now. That's the camera two. So I just press the button to change between cameras. Show them how that goes. Exactly. Then, for example, when I change to this camera with this joystick. I can move the camera very easily. I can even change the speed of the movement I want to change. Or for example, as we we're talking about the presets, they're actually very easy. I can press button one and I preset it before. So preset one is gonna show me the TriCaster and everything we're using. Preset two, for example, is gonna go closer into the TriCaster. Now tell it tell me it's important now. We're showing you this live, but normally in the preview beforehand, can you see the two screens? This one here is the live screen, and but you've got a preview screen here. Can you see that with my fingers, guys? So, for example, if we change camera, I see it on the preview before everyone sees on the big screen or on the live stream like you're doing right now. As you can see, we have now preview is the camera you can see, and live stream is the camera that you're seeing right now. So if I want to change camera, I can do an auto fade, or I can fade it manually, I mean, without a fade, for example. Yeah, you can just click with the mouse. Or it's very that simply that keyboard and one of the easiest way to do a preset with this camera setup oh is sorry. for example I change I'm gonna change zoom the camera in, angle zoom in, yeah. I'm gonna go let's go up here and then I say okay I like this setup I would like to have this angle then what I do is I go back I show it to you let me zoom in again Oop. Opa, sorry it's too sensitive right now Okay, what I do is I press one button store and then I choose from one of the many preset buttons I can use and I can save it for example to button 8. And then it's going to start blinking as you can see. So this means I saved already the preset. So now I can go back to one, preset one, and then I can go back to preset 8 that we just saved right now. Now so you can imagine a scenario guys, if you're watching, you've got a classical concert happening, <laughs> which is like pure stress. Um, it's actually where we learn how to do all this stuff, believe it or not. Um, so really thanks to all the guys at the um, ZKO and David Boucher and the gang at the Tornhalle Orchestra and Tornhalle Lake and David Zinman for everybody actually through David Zinman all this stuff started. But you can imagine, you know, you've got five cameras operating, you've got a TriCast setup, you've got a quite a stressy situation. Classical music is of the highest level anyway. So, you know, the standard you've got to ch show is top. Um, and that with these presets, which actually Michelle told us about, because we started using the, um, these cameras and not realizing that there were presets available, right? So we were just doing it by our hand. And how we've got it now is following with the system. We have a musician or somebody who reads the notes. Um, we've got three guys actually, Kevin Griffiths and um, David Bruchet and Giorgios Balotinos, who've all done their concerts with us, brilliant actual conductors themselves, and they know about these camera presets and stuff like that. So they look at the notes that for the whole orchestra, 
they look at those and then they actually write the preset. So it'll be camera one, preset three for the first 30 seconds. Camera two, preset five. So you're actually going through um, 16 minutes. Oh, I've just seen the chat there. Why does it keep cutting? Try refreshing Jaliat's Unaidza. Have a look at that, yeah? Um, so yeah, you can imagine. You list the presets before the concert and then it just saves you so much stress and so much work because it's literally click of a button, right, Seb? And exactly. When, and when you're in a stress situation, live production, man, you know, you want to be cut, you want to have it optimized so you can concentrate on as creating uh, the best artistic uh, broadcast as possible, you know, given your scenario. And these bits of equipment, what we're showing you now, you know, they really work. It's really cool. Okay, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take another short break now uh, for a few minutes. Let's leave you with another video. Seb just prepared a video. Um, this is going to be like a few minutes of a recent uh, broadcast we did with the Zurich Chamber Orchestra, Sebastian Knauer and Sir Roger Norrington. Um, like big shout out, go to ZKO, search for that, uh, the Zurcher Kammer Orchestra on Facebook. Have a little look at that. And then uh, when we come back, we're going to talk to you about now the stream's done. We've done the stream, it's broadcast, it's finished. So how are we going to use this stream to generate budget for another stream and to also promote our stuff further using new tools from YouTube. And this is really important. So please don't go away. We're going to be back in about seven, eight minutes. All right, then. Thanks very much. So let's have a, oh, hold on. I'm going to keep chatting because Seb's going to look at the, uh, it's the video of the ZKO. Um, yeah, and then go to uh, the piano when Sebastian's on piano. It's absolutely fab. Yeah, no, go, go further, I want some piano. Go see Shakira, he's doing this. Yeah, I'm singing in the runter, I'm singing the canal. Canal, so, I'm going to do it for the runter. Click, double click. Yeah. Not, not thing. Is that playing? Can we hear it?
Seminar, wir müssen uns einmal von vorne sehen heute Abend, glaube ich, wir in eine kleine Zugabe an denjenigen Aufwach von Sarabonne, auf der fünften französischen Krieg. Und ganz herzlichen Dank für Ihren wunderbaren Applaus. PJ, Galia, mm. Moy for his TV Mondo. Hope you're all still there and everybody else. Let's have a look at see how many viewers we've got actually. Let's have a quick little look. Uh, where are we? Oh, Alright, we've got 170 odd viewers. Pretty good. Um, if any of you are there and any of this stuff you like, why is the phone going? I think the phone is still on. Um, sometimes you have to be careful if you put your iPhones on people, put them out of the way, yeah? Yeah, what was I just about to say? Sorry, what was I talking about? Uh, yes, we're gonna going to present the microphones we're using because we had some questions on Twitter. Um, right now we're using different kind of microphones. Uh, for example, for stays we're having a wireless microphone. Hold on, I'll just show it. One sec. I'm just doing Let me just change the camera so we can show you the microphone. Uh, show it on the other side, on that camera. Okay. Exactly. We're using right now the Sennheiser EW100G2. It's one of the old series that we're using. You can use as well the new one, the G3, uh, both work as well. Um, as you can see, let me just change the camera angle. I'm gonna show you, you can see next to the TriCaster, I go straight from the tri um, receiver via XLR, I go straight into the TriCaster. And then the microphone I'm using is a Sennheiser E845S. Exactly, from visual, as you can see. And this goes as well with XLR into the TriCaster. This is actually my microphone. And then one of the things you can see on the TriCaster, let me just try to go a bit closer. Um, as you can see in the TriCaster, I can go up, and then you see all the different mic levels that we have. Um, you can see the signal that we're having. I can go lower. It's a little bit loud. So, so you're not going to hear me. Um, or I can change the master level on every, I mean, on the whole uh, system we're using, or only my mic or his microphone. So that's about the microphones we're using. Now we're going back to stay. Okay, so guys, what we've done up till now is we started off with quite an empty, like I said from the beginning, a quick recap. We've got our messages, we want to share with the world. We've got a lesson for Pastoral, we've got, you know, a concert here, we've got an event you know, you can pay to see some models getting married and the people from uh, Israel can't come to the wedding, but they can come virtually, right? Um, so what's happening is we've got that, and it's good to hear a school or a cultural organization or a firm or a product to share. And then what we want to do is we just streamed, and it's worked out quite well. We've done it with minimal budget. We don't have to have a budget, obviously. We can use up the one pound we have for the laptop. Okay, and then what we've got now is we've got probably an hour's 
So that is then stored on the Cloudcaster and Stephanie will tell you all about it. Exactly. Normally, uh, what we do is following. Um, when we're recording live, for example, like a live concert or like the live stream we're doing right now, everything is going to get recorded on the Livecaster, which is, let me show it to you. As you can see, next to the TriCaster, we have our hard disk right now that we are using. And then when we're done with it, everything is going to be live edited, like I'm doing right now, changing cameras and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So um, the next level that we do normally, for example, if you want to do if you want to cut the live stream, what I personally use, I, I like to work with Final Cut, or you can work as well with the um, Adobe Media Premiere and other programs that you're going to see, like Avid and stuff like that. My mic is working, yours too. Just a second, please. I'll tell you why, it just fell down. How about now? Ah, okay, Great. perfect. Sorry, guys. Okay, as I was saying before, what I do normally, for example, you have to cut it down. If I have, for example, like a live concert that goes for like two hours or so, and the customer is saying, okay, I want to have like a, the best part of them in like three minutes or ten minutes or an hour, um, I just put it on the final cut, and then I edit it together for what the customer wants to have. Or, for example, um, many of the customers want to have as well a DVD solution. If they want to have the whole stream, then it's pretty easy because we have it already, from the TriCaster, we edited it already live, so we can just go to DVD Studio Pro, it's one of the applications from Final Cut Studio, and then you can make um, a DVD, an SD solution for the normal TVs, or if you want to go HD, you can do a Blu-ray, with of course the best quality. T so Seb, tell them about uh, uh, the TriCaster's functions, that which we haven't mentioned. The TriCaster's so good, before you actually set it up, I mean, again, we're talking a little bit advanced, but if you were like to hire us, for example, it's so good, we can actually pre-program it to stream out in whatever uh, solution you want. So, you know, what is it, 512 kbps, 640 by 360, and so on and so forth. And then also, the record button. Seb, can you go zoom in on the screen from the camera yes. behind us, maybe? I want to show you this stream and record button stuff, guys, because this is actually pretty cool. So, as you can see right now, this is the TriCaster monitor again. As you can see here, this is the stream button. I'm not going to press it right now, otherwise we're, so we're going to go, go offline. offline. <laughs> uh, and we're recording right now straight to the hard disk, as I said before. And here you can change as well the recording settings, if you want to have something special, or you can change the stream settings, as I said before. Yeah, but you've got to be careful with that now. I'm not going to I'm not gonna change anything. Yeah, it's going to pop up. We um, did the update yesterday, guys, and it was, uh, it's been interesting. We were here all last night uh, messing about. Also, Wolfgang from Visuals said to me he had some fun with the new update as well from the TriCaster. Okay, sorry Seb about the interruption. W you were there, where were you? Your no final cut, C DVDs. Okay, uh, it's over to me then. Uh, yes, so if okay. you don't have any questions to TriCaster or anything else, we go back to stage. Okay, now what we've got then, we've got the final two phases. Okay, one second. Moises TV Mundo is just asking, could he edit in FCP? What's that mean, Seb? Exactly. Normally, I edit everything in Final Cut Pro. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can use the newest one, Final Cut Pro X. I prefer to use the older one. It's more a professional one. Or you can go uh, with Premiere because it allows the support of any different cameras you're using, like RED, uh, like H.264, like, for example, Canon 5D cameras, or every other different codec you are using and you didn't have to, to recode it before editing them. Okay, right, so we've got now, I'm the client, let's picture the scenario, guys. I'm the client, I'm, I've just managed to do my first stream, relatively minimal budget, um, and I've got a HD recording that I've edited. Uh, in what format do you export to external HD from TriCaster? Yeah, direct from the TriCaster, Moises TV Mundo. He's just asked, uh, we're exporting right now, as, as I think we're going now um, MPEG-4. Yeah. But normally what we also use if the customer, for example, wants to have a better quality, we, we take an AIA Key Pro solution yeah. that we can record to hard disk as well, but we can go to, for example, Apple ProRes 422, and then you have the best quality that you can get. Um, what about also individual cameras? The TriCaster actually is limited. You've got an out, and that's the recording you've got. You've mixed it live. But... Um, if you want to do other edits, you want to get like every single camera recording done, then you need to connect m like an eye or a, uh, a Keepro si a solution to every camera, don't you? And then, exactly. 
and then you can edit, make a final edit uh, with all of the individual camera um, recordings. Whereas with the TriCast, you've got the final live cut recording. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, exactly, that's right. Okay, let's picture the scenario now. No, yeah, you're welcome, Moises TV Mundo. Where are you from? Let us know. Anyway, and uh, anybody else, let us all know where you're from, which countries are you viewing from, and where you're at. Uh, we can also do German, also wenn es sein muss, come out of Deutsch. Spanish, say something in Spanish. In español también, in francés or in italiano. French, Michel. <laughs> yeah, please go for it, guys. Okay, um, so we've now, Seb has finished the edit. You, we are the client. We're like, wow, you know, it worked. Okay, it didn't cost us so much. Um, oh, you're in the USA, good man. Okay, it didn't cost us so much, but what we've got now is the potential. We know now that we've done it. We know it works. We know that we've had interest on Facebook, on Ustream, on Twitter. Um, we've got clicks on the website, we've plugged in some Google AdWords, and it's all gone fabby dabby dozy. Then what happens? Seb comes along and he puts in my hand a hard disk with the finished cut. And maybe I've got like a three or four different videos there. I've got the actual finished version, which is, hey, if it's a concert an hour, maybe two hours. Then I've got the best of the best, which is what? A 15 minute video, perhaps? Because if you're using a standard YouTube account, because we're going to talk about YouTube now and daily motion, but we're going to use YouTube as the best example. Now, what happens is a standard YouTube account, uh, unless you've got partner status, only allows you to upload a 15 minute video, right? Okay, that's not a, you know, a great problem because you know, if you uh, use your Ustream recordings on your dashboard, you record your Ustream, you can upload the whole thing and you can point people towards that for the whole concert. But for, to get a piece of YouTube action, what was it the other day? They, they pu published their video uh, views and they had 20.9 billion video views. Hello. Hello. So we want to get some of that action, don't we? We've got some really cool content. We've got a concert or a lesson or something that we've done, a really important message. And, uh, you know, we want to upload it to YouTube and connect it to our stuff. So what we then do, I'm going to go to YouTube now, guys, and show you all, like, some quick examples. We're not going to spend loads of time on this because, like I said, we're going to do some more broadcasts in the near future where we're going to actually go into this stuff in more detail. Okay, so this is um, yeah, your, your back, end, back end of the, uh, the YouTube dashboard, as it were. So you've got, can you follow my mouse there? Is everybody seeing that cursor? Okay, so let's uh, use David Bruchet as an example. This is an example class. Um, from one of our clients, I hope you won't mind us using it. He's the principal trombone of the Tornale Orchestra and professor of music at the Zurich College of the Arts, also one of his. Yes, BJ, we are recording this, um, and it will be available on Ustream and also on YouTube. Uh, so, you know, keep involved, keep an eye on Facebook, and you can see all that. But so, we're going to go through this video now. Now, what we've got is, we've got David, let me just pause it. Are you following me yet? So at the top of the screen, we've got edit info. So we need to upload the video, first of all, which we use here at the top. So we upload a video. You need a good, strong upload. Do you remember us talking about internet connection is absolutely everything, right, Seb? You know, if you've got a slow internet connection, you're not gonna do nothing, are you? Um, okay, so we, we've uploaded the video. Now, what we need to do is we need to edit the information. So we need to put a good title in there. Think keywords, guys. Think Google, man. Think search engine. Think, you know, what keywords are in that title, and then, the description, it's also important. Meta title, meta description. Do you remember we went through this before? I'm gonna go through it in more detail again with you time. And then we've got the tag. And then you need to put it in the category. Okay, so that's now then uploaded. And then you need to find out whether it's live. You know, you need to put it live, private, public, allow comments, and you know, allow other video to be related and let people embed it, so share. Don't forget, everybody, the one important thing to remember from all of this it's share. That is the key to successful internet marketing, whether it's a live stream, a video, a blog, whatever, a website. You need to share, and you need to encourage others to share it as well. Okay, so we've done that. We're ready there. Now, what we've got with the new YouTube stuff, which is really, really cool, and I've got to say a big, big shout out to Mr. Bingham uh, for doing all this stuff. He's The guy's a pocket genius, and he sings like a, my wife says, like an angel, actually, baritone. Anyway, so I'm going to talk about your stuff now, Aaron. Okay, what we've got here, if you can see, 
I, if Seb takes us back, right, we've got edit annotations. Now, annotations are really cool because what they do, if I just click into that, we can add an annotation. So, we've got the video, you're brought up into a new screen and here you've got add annotation. So, you can add either a speech bubble, a note, a title, a spotlight or a break. Uh, let's add a spotlight quickly. So, we'll add it and then you can move it around. Let's do it there. Okay? Right. So, so I click to edit your annotation. Here you can look at the time timing of it. Oh, sorry, just let's write something. Um, so, go to more music education videos. Are you guys seeing all this on the screen? How are we? Yeah, we're pretty good, right? Okay. So we click that in there, and then what we do, we work out when we want it to ha start. So I think right at the beginning we'll have it. No, maybe at the end, towards the end. So it's a 50 second video, so we'll make that 40 seconds, okay? And then to the end of the video, which is 50. Hope you guys can follow me. Now what we wanna do is we can add a link to that. So I'm just gonna open up again the YouTube. Follow me, bear with me guys, um, because this is quite important. So you've probably got a few videos now, or some other videos that are similar to your content that you want to, you know, jazz your uploaded video up. So go to my channel quickly and let's go to some educate. Let's go to a playlist. Uh, Baby Boucher Music Education. So let's grab the link from this. I need to grab the link. Where do we get it from? More info. Here's the link. And then we put that into our annotation. So we click the link here, click link, and it's a link to a playlist. So we click on playlist there, and we paste the link in, paste. You can either open up in a new window or just directly from there. Okay, good, that's saved, publish, all right? So we publish this quick, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this. And you can see how, again, we're making our videos really interactive, and you see how they work. So you can see here there's a red dot. That means it's got an annotation. You can turn that off as a viewer. So let's look. Let's go to where it is. And here it comes. Okay, go to more music education videos. Let's click that. And what does it do? It takes us to that sequence of videos there. All right? Or if you're a partner account, it can take you to a uh, Wikipedia link, you know, where information. That's what you want to do. You want to enhance your stuff. Okay, then what happens? You've got this. So we've got your video. Let's uh, go back to that. Let's go back to the video manager. I just want to do one last point, which everybody probably knows about, actually. So edit info. Let's edit that. I've got to take that off, actually, because, uh, but I'll do that afterwards. So what we've got is do, 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 view on video page. Good. We've got this video now and we've got it uploaded onto YouTube. We've got our blog and our website, our WordPress website, lovely jazzy WordPress website. Then what we do, we can click to on share. So we've got a link to the video. We can post it to our Facebook, share it. We can share it to Twitter, which we've all connected up, don't forget, and also Google Plus, you know, from your Google account. I actually didn't mention that very much, but the next broadcast we're gonna do, we're gonna do it live with a Google Plus Hangout, which I hope you can all join us for, because we love Google, as well as we love Ustream and YouTube. Um, okay, so importantly now, let's take this, embed. Now we've got an embed code here, right? That's our video we've just uploaded, which we've recorded, which we now want to put it on our blog. So if I go Control C, copy that, open our blogger up, go to uh, a new post, new post, Uh, stream video HTML we want because we want to copy that in so plug that in like that post that in like that now you do need to normally do your posts and your, your title properly and everything else let's have a look okay so you can look at that now let's publish that quickly just to show you a really quick example so that's published there was one second we'll look at that quickly Seb, are you on with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is 
the stream we've just made very simply put onto our blog or on our website. Bosh, finished. Okay, done. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's have a look at some of these last um, questions on Twitter and then uh, we're ready to rock and roll. And then we'll be on soon. So keep your eyes out, keep visiting Ustream. Join up with the IC247 Facebook page and uh, feel free to contact us. If you've got any inquiries or you've got something you want to stream, contact us as well. We'll be more than happy to help you. Okay, answering some questions. If I create a second channel in Ustream, I need to copy a new FME code for my TriCaster. Yeah, um, basically every time you set up a new channel or a new show uh, and it's brand new, uh, like a secondary or a third or whatever, then you do need to always look at the advance and copy the FME code in, the RTMP address and uh, the uh, name. I think it gives you a download as an XML file. Oops, sorry. Okay, um, are we recording? Let me just have a look, see what other chat we've got. Okay. I think that's about it. One other thing I'm just going to answer, and it was an inquiry from our website. Uh, don't save me in because I'm going to look at my private emails, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, one second. Uh, there. Okay. So, Joshua Fisher asks, I'm looking for information on the best cost-effective way to use live streaming for two purposes. One, stream classes so parents can watch class in the lobby or on their, on their iPad, iPhone, phone, tablet, etc. Or relatives stroke parents can view the class remotely. Number two, I'd like to be able to do live stream lessons. Well, Joshua, as you can see, if you followed our broadcast today, it's quite easy to do it, actually. Via the Ustream account, you can really get in there. Um, you can, do, you know, connect all this up. If you featured, I mean, and you've got the people that, like the parents and the uh, uh, relatives, if they want to watch it, they can download the iTunes, you know, what is it? iPhone app and iPad app, Ustream Mobile Me. In fact, let me just quickly go to that page to show you guys on Ustream. Uh, I think it's everywhere, isn't it? Everywhere. Bear with me. Yeah, here it is. I'll just show you this page. Okay, if you save that in. Right, guys, so you've got Ustream for iPad, Ustream for Android tablets, Ustream for iPhone, Android, Lounge for streaming players, computers, and for Vieracast as well. That's new. Mm. Very snazzy. Uh, well worth having a look at. So that answers one of those questions. Um, the first part of it, uh, cost-effective way, you know, to be able to live stream lessons. You know, if you've got a camera set up, it depends what budget you've got. Um, you can also get budget through sponsoring. I mean, you saw us, we wrote, we, as we went on a break to go and get us a drink, uh, we did that twice today, and you were watching videos which we recorded. Think of it like this. If you've got lessons that you want to stream out for a local school or a school, like a music school, for example, then it might be a good idea to contact like music suppliers or music shops near, you know, or instrument producers or something like that. And then say to them, look, you know, in our breaks of our stream breaks, we're, we're streaming our lessons live to so many sh um, students. Why don't you um, send us a banner? It costs whatever, and then we put it onto the stream. And that way you can get it paid for. And of course, the better partners you get and the better sponsors you get, then uh, the more money you can get and the better the quality. And you can build up and up until you get to the TriCaster cast status and beyond. All right then, okay. Thanks very much for your time, guys. And uh, like I said, visit Facebook. It's IC247 Internet Marketing on Facebook. Twitter is IC247. Website is internetcommunication247.com. I'm just going to fade that in at the bottom of your screen now. Uh, keep an eye out on the links. And uh, yeah, feel free to email us and let us know if you need any help or if you've got a project that you wouldn't mind streaming. All right, then. Thanks very much, guys. Take care. See you Thank all. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Let me show 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 you.